Nick and I um, have an effort called Wikiloop, and this is what I'm going to introduce to you to, uh, uh, about. Uh, we have presented Wikiloop, the idea, um, to several Wikimedia-related uh, uh, conference. How many of you have heard about Wikiloop before? Thanks. And uh, how many of you have interacted with the data sets and toolings that we provided before? Okay, fairly new. Okay, so this will be mostly an introduction. So we would like to tell you uh, why we start this initiative and uh, what it intends to do and how you can get involved or uh, what it will go for. Um, so to begin with, we would like to give you an example. This is a vandalism that um, happened in Italian that happened in Italy, uh, Wikipedia. Uh, I know that most people here are interested in Wikidata. Uh, I will tell you why this is relevant too. Um, so basically what we found is that someone uh, vandalized the Wikipedia on Italian and says, Bezos uh, who cannot afford a car. Uh, this is an interesting question. It's, it's, uh, if you think about it, this is a, a blatant, uh, obvious vandalism, but uh, when it comes to machine and algorithms, we're trying to detect vandalisms and avoid serving users the information. How can computer understand this kind of information? Like it, it would be, they, they, we, we, our, uh, re, we realize that sometimes there are limitations of how far algorithms can go and machine can go. And, and another example here is Let's say there is a, uh, a word or label or a category on Wikipedia that says someone, uh, a person, is a Christian scientist. Now, given this label, what facts do you come up with? Like, what would, be, uh, what would you infer from this category? Do you think it would be a Christian or do you think it would be a scientist? So in this specific case, it doesn't apply everywhere, but in this specific case, there is a religion uh, called Christian science, and people who hold that belief is called Christian science. And f again, for machines, how can we know? Like, even if any, many people here are a big fan, uh, that the better we make our data and knowledge machine friendly, the easier we can uh, work and improve the overall um, knowledge accessibility and um, and contribute together, but there's always things that we believe that machine has restrictions. Uh, so um, all in all, we, we start to realize that um, being uh, coming from uh, internet companies who have a strong belief about technology and what machine can do, there's always a gap or there is always something that we will need to rely on human being and more, we will need to rely on communities who are actively contributing, who are doing the peer reviews, who are uh, collaborating with each other. So this is a picture uh, about the background of the effort of Wikiloop. For the human being, they, they have the knowledge, they have, uh, we have the, the um, um, domain expertise and we can cross check each other, but we just have that enough time. Right, and there's many things that the machine can help empower this, but uh, there's restrictions there. So the goal is to empower or um, uh, improve the productivity of human editors, but also the other side of the formula is we want to loop that back to the research and uh, the um, academic efforts that improve how machine can help in these cases. So by raise of a hand, how many of you have used Google? Oh, Thank you. And how many of you have think that companies like Google and other big knowledge companies should contribute more to the knowledge world? So what happens is that we all know that our mission at Google or uh, other similar companies, we have a strong um, background of leveraging the open knowledge world. Well, like for Google specific case, it's like organize the world's information. So we help disseminate the information, which, which in one sense that helps the mission of this movement. But every once a only every once a while we have sporadic uh, help 
trying to um, trying to uh, donate uh, knowledge and data sets and tools, and we we want to see if we can make this sustainable, both in um, both in the uh, technical case uh, sense and also in the business sense. So uh, this is the like one sentence introduction. We want this uh, wiki loop to become um, an umbrella program for a series of technical projects intended to contribute data sets and toolings and hopefully make this a community effort with participation of other uh, like-minded like people, partners, and institutions to join with this effort. There are several projects that we think uh, would be a good fit. And uh, this, these are the, the criteria. First of all, um, the idea is that it needs to be source improvements, or source improvement by and large is a good fit. And also the second thing that companies like us uh, really cannot do very well by ourselves is to maximize the neutrality, to avoid picking sides on the controversies uh, a decision or discussions. And another thing is that to make this uh, in the long term sustainability and to keep it um, being supported by this industry, we want to see the productivity, the scalability of our contribution and efforts. Uh, to ex explain a little bit more, um, we always look trying to extract, for example, we're trying to extract facts from Wikipedia. And while we can do um, several uh, separations or labeling um, fairly well, up to a certain point, the, battle, uh, the bottleneck is no longer how good the machine, uh, the, the algorithm can reach, but sometimes it's the, the noise in the source. And if we could do not uh, remove the source or minimize the, the source noise there, that's how far the machine can go. So the, that's just the first criteria. And the second criteria is we don't want to get to be seen as bias or introduce bias, potential bias. We want to rely on a, a, a governance that is peer-reviewed and that is like, done by the community so that we can avoid picking sides in the, in the controversy questions. Uh, and the third thing, which probably not so intuitive, but this is the kind of, uh, I would let, let me give you an example of uh, the, the projects we have in mind. Uh, let's say there are smaller language, minority language there. I, I've heard a, a very good um, talk earlier this morning. But one idea we have here is, let's say you are minority language contributors, you're very active and you, very, you want to advocate for your culture and supporting your knowledge creation. But because Companies like Google or other consumer companies, they have a bar for releasing a, a translation to make it available. They, they want the precision to be high enough so that they can use it to serve users. But maybe internally they have an AI models that are experimenting not to, good enough to the bar because lack of training data. So there's, the translation is not available. But the community is doing the translation by hand anyway. Now, one of the things that we're thinking of, if we can provide some of this experimental thing that is not good enough to serve general user purpose, but still good for the community and somewhat improving their productivity, it would be able to, one, improve the speed of how well a community can contribute. And second, what the community is creating anyway can comes back as a training data that keeps bootstrapping the machines. So, oh, so over time, by this effort, we hope to generate a model that both helps the human being, the editors, but also helps the research that improves the, com the, the AI and, and other approaches. And this is a big overview of a, a few projects we are going to introduce. Uh, due to the time limitation, I will feature a few. The Wikiloop game, uh, which um, you can look up, is one that we, we um, leverage a platform created by uh, Magnus called Wikidata Game. We provide several uh, data sets there to be played, to be introduced, and commit to the Wikidata, but by the human review. And um, Google doesn't get to 
con contribute data directly to uh, Wikipedia or Wikidata, but having someone who's reviewing it as an un non-biased individuals to do so. And the second one is I'm going to feature is Wikiloop Battlefield, uh, the one that you have seen just now as a counter vandalism platform. And this one also features the same criteria of uh, source improvements of the um, of, of how the, it can empower machines by looping, ba looping back the, tra um, the, uh, the training data and also how it avoids companies like us to pick sides, allowing we to rely on the community's uh, assessment. And the third one is um, site pool, which is creating, we help, trying to help creating um, citation candidate pool to improve the productivity of people who want to add citation, but also see if we can make that into a training data accessible to uh, researchers. So let me use Wikiloop Battlefield as an example. If you have tried it on your phone, battlefield.wikiloop.org. By the way, I want to highlight the name is subject to change because some friendly community members have come to me and suggest that Battlefield might not be uh, the best name for a project serving the Wikimedia movement. Uh, so if you don't like this name, come join us in the discussion, provide your suggestion. We'll be very happy to uh, converge to a name that has community consensus and, and popularity. But let's use that as a placeholder here. Uh, typical, you, you, I don't need to uh, introduce to this group of um, people about the typical vandalism workflow. Um, but if you have already uh, um, trying to conduct some anti or counter vandalism activity, you might know that it's not very trivial. How many of you have seen vandalism on Wikipedia and Wikidata? Okay, how many of you have reverted by hand some of them? How many of you have used certain tools or go ahead and find certain tools to patrol or revert vandalism? Okay, um, cool. This is the highest density of people who have, <laughs> who have tried to van uh, uh, revert vandalism that I have spoken to before. Um, so maybe some of you have been very comfortable doing that, but for me as someone who started editing actively f only since like three years ago and who only start to be very serious doing vandalism detection and patrolling only since last about last year i found that uh doing so is not super easy on on uh, the world of wikimedia movement if we look at the existing if we look at the existing alternatives uh, there are tools that is built featuring uh, desktops. There are tools that is relying on users who have rollback permission, which itself is a big barrier to get. Um, we want to make this a super easy to use platform for both for all the three roles. The first one is user, reviewer, or editor, whatever you call it. Um, the second one is researchers who is trying to create vandalism detecting algorithms or, or systems. And the third one is developers who is trying to improve this uh, Wikiloop battlefield tooling. We want it to be super easy for user to use. You can pull up your phone, you don't have to install it, you can do it on your laptop. And we also want to lower a barrier to review. The reason why other tools have trying to limit the, per, the, the access to the tool is because there needs to be a base trust level for people to use them. You don't want someone to come to a vandal counter vandalism tool to vandalize itself. So what we're trying to do is that um, to begin with, we want to make it super easy, but also we want to allow multiple people to label the same thing. Also, we want to make it super convenient to see the, view, see the diff, to see other re, uh, label, and all in real time. We also want to make it for researchers super easy to use. By one click, you can download the labeling and maybe start uh, play with the data and uh, see how it fit in your model. 
and we want we provide APIs that have access to real time data. And we, for the developer, we make it very easy to pick up. We have one click. You can deploy your uh, your uh, trial instances, things like that. This is an example about building projects for umbrella like Wikiloop. We want to make sure the community trust comes the first. We we usually need to make it open source the best, uh, and we want to avoid proprietary tech, we want to avoid tech lockdown, and we rely on community approval to, for certain features. And if you have seen this, uh, this is the components that we re uh, rely on. Still very early stage, but you get the, 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 the principles behind the design. So what's next? We, we are trying to grow our usage. Hopefully you can try it out by yourself. And uh, pr promise to me that you don't click on the login. Uh, there is a login button. There will be some good features that make it super easy to even revert something. Currently, it's still a jump to revert. Um, but uh, we are building features. And we will al we're also trying to let you um, choose some categories or the watch list that you will be w watching. and. The, the, the one that you care about to, to um, patrol. And also, if you are researchers who are doing related uh, vandalism uh, detection, try our data uh, and give us feedback. And I will go through quickly about a few other projects that we are featuring here, and we will look for questions and feedback from you about what we think and what uh, you think you can, uh, you think should be there, or how we should fix things if it doesn't work right. right. Wikidata game is a platform built by our community member Magnus, of a celebrity in this community, I think. Uh, and by showing this, we are providing data sets, and but we also want to let people know that we are not re reinventing the, the wheels, or we are not trying to. When we come up with some idea, we look into the community and see if there's existing tools that's, that's there and how we can be a part of the, the ecosystem rather than building everything uh, independently and everything separately. And this is the current status. Um, by an early results, we show that Wikidata, our own, uh, a few games that we le released have triggered and improved activity on the entities related. And a few follow-up. One thing that we have come up with, uh, as, as I have talked to a few community members, is um, the pre-check idea that uh, is basically providing preliminary check about bulk uploads, sampled preliminary check by the community member, and use that to generate a report, make it easier for discussions about whether this big bulk of Wikidata data sets should be included or uploaded to wikidata.org, or it should be rejected or fixed. So, and there is another project that uh, is mostly um, a data set project called CatFax. Um, CatFax is generate, um, is data sets that we generate uh, about facts from categories. The one that you see, the um, Christian scientist just now, is actually an, an interesting, interesting outlier uh, data points from this effort. This goal is to generate the facts from the category, which we think have been a very rich fact uh, mine that people uh, that has been under leveraged, but uh, before it can be fully leveraged, we need to make sure the quality is good enough as well. And uh, there is efforts of putting it onto data, uh, data game, uh, wiki data game, and there is effort that we're thinking maybe building uh, pre-check would help as well. And uh, it's still in early stage. Feel free to come to talk to us uh, about uh, other efforts, other ideas you think about data sets we could provide. The bot, uh, which is communication tools, we know that bot can do many things, like writing Wikipedia article, but we promise that we don't actually write to the actual article, but we u may mo mostly use it as a, um, as a uh, way to communicate from, let's say, user talk to give us access to large uh, 
large-scale um, com conversations with the community members. Explorers is going to show all our data sets, our toolings, their stats, and queries you can run on our things. Stay tuned, this one is releasing soon. And we have several other ideas, but I would jump to this overall uh, portfolio. It would be several projects to begin with, data sets and tooling. And then what we are doing currently is Explorer, Battlefield, CatFax, and PageRank, and there are some other upcoming ideas like PrayCheck, SitePool, and Babbles. And this is a is one of the the, um, the the diagrams that I want want to show you that it's we want to not only use um, one individual projects to contribute to the community and also generate the training data for the research academia. We also have an idea that these projects may work together. Uh, for example, the site pool, the the system that we want to build to allow people to easier find citations for Wikipedia articles or Wikidata, but also use the Explorer to display the results, use the, uh, depends on the page rank scoring uh, data sets uh, to determine how to rank the, the, the citation page that we would recommend, and use the page uh, pre-check to, check, to do quality sanity check and maybe create bulk, uh, bulk report by bot and the, the pre-check will depend on the game as well. So um, if, you, if, if, if some of our uh, community friends have f been following the progress of Wikiloop, we have been through uh, ice-breaking phase. Uh, we have trying to earn the community trust because we know um, how cautious we need to be coming to contribute to a, a movement that relies so much on the neutrality and non-bias policies. And uh, we have s gradually started to have ideas and about tools and data and find the direction of how we can possibly make this sustainable. And uh, we're looking into uh, creating long-term sustainability both internally and also externally both internally of getting resource and getting support, also externally of getting engagement, getting usage, and getting contributors starting from next quarter. I want to quote uh, Yvonne Yeo, who is a, create, a creator of a uh, popular front-end uh, front framework, Vue.js. Software development gets tremendously harder when you start to have to convince people instead of just writing the code. This applies to editing Wikipedia or Wikidata. It's very easy to click a button and edit individual uh, articles, but also it's very, interest it's very hard when you need to convince people. And uh, I, will leave, I hope to, uh, to leave some time for questions, uh, although we only have you probably one or two minutes. People want to shout questions out. I'll bring the mic over. Hands up, maybe. So where would I go to at this moment if I would like to uh, uh, use this to um, solve some of the problem with chemicals, where some Wikipedia pages about chemicals, uh, they have a chem box about a specific chemical, uh, but are otherwise uh, about a, a class of chemicals. Is that something where Wikiloop could help? Uh, I think that's, that, that's an individual uh, domain expertise part, right? If you are talking about topics of articles that is associated with specific topics. We are trying to, we might be able to help, but we are trying to tackle the problem that is like more general uh, currently. And overall, the goal is to find, is to find the possibility of empowering empowering uh, human beings' uh, productivity and also trying to generate uh, the knowledge that potentially helps, or the training data that potentially help the algorithms. Are you also going to do this for structured data on commons? 
Yeah, we hope to. Uh, ex I, if you're referring to battlefield or counter vandalism tools, uh, yeah, we are planning to ex expand it to to other uh, wiki projects, including commons and wiki data. I think that's all the questions we have time for. But if you'd like to show your appreciation for Victor, thank you.